also like to introduce my colleague at the uh, head table. To my very right, which would be Maud, out of respect to our guest speaker and the audience. And now it is my pleasure to introduce ours, the Meritorious Service Medal with three gold medals. Any military force in any country, you're the major thing that you do is uh, be prepared to do anything that your country uh, may ask you to do. Uh, so you know, we're con constantly putting together plans of how would we respond if asked to go to this part of the world, uh, put together plans how would we respond if we go to, to that part of the world. Uh, so it, uh, you know, that's just part of our job, putting together plans to uh, carry out the foreign policy that our country has decided that they need to use their military force to carry out or to be involved with. Now, we can speculate on what will happen if matters stabilize in the Korean Peninsula. If the normalization of relations between Japan and North Korea continues, or what would be the effect of an increase in the power of influence of the People's Republic of China, conflict over the status of Taiwan, the resurgence of a Russian Pacific fleet, territorial disputes in the South China Sea, and many other possible scenarios, but it would be just that speculation. Fifteen years ago, not many people would have predicted the fall of the Berlin Wall the disintegration of the Soviet Union, and the virtual disappearance of the Russian warships from the seas coming as quickly as it did. The world may be radically different 15 years from now. It may appear strikingly similar. Our Navy's role is to remain the viable instrument of U.S. foreign policy. We will continue to fill that role.